You can't hear this. First of all, Ramon, good morning to you. Good the, morning. Mm -hmm. good you morning. Be, <laughs> you're right, I can't hear it or feel it or nothing, nothing at all. So, so you'll be the voice of Niall today. How, how does he do it though? Well, actually, I just follow Peta and her movements, and she's very, she's a performer. So basically, I feel like I can see the music through her. Mm. Yeah. All right, Peta. Yes. You How have, do you do it? You have certain moves that you've learned, right? What are they? Absolutely. Um, you know, I had to sort of change my whole teaching structure mm -hmm. uh, with Niall, and that was an amazing thing because I'm learning so much from him. But, you know, there's different techniques that we use to get him through the dance to make sure he is on time musically. Right. So people, you know, can have that feeling that anybody can dance and also that he doesn't need to hear the music. It is so moving you know? when you dance. And I know that dancers are always very connected, but this is a whole different level. The understanding that you have to have with one another. Well, that's exactly right. And I think, you know, it's a huge benefit is that she's actually learning about deaf culture and learning about sign language and then I'm learning to dance from her. So we're learning a lot about each other mm -hmm. and I think that's what makes us better. Yeah. I think that we have that chemistry because you, of that. Do you ever fully not understand what she wants from you? <laughs> no, I don't think so at all. I think at times, but not often. I don't even really remember a time where we don't get each other because she's very clear when she shows me what she wants. Yeah, that's better than what we do right? here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have to be very, very clear, honestly, with like my wording and how yeah. I have to visually describe things and describe movements. So, if you do you have signals, you touch his back, meaning one thing. Yes, and I sometimes tap him in on his back, like five taps to begin, yeah. or squeeze his hand when he needs to, you know, come forward or give him like a head raise we did in rumba to let him know when to start. So all these little things are just getting us there. Right, I, I and we try, we try to make our cues a little more invisible, mm. so as, as invisible as possible. They are very invisible because I was there a couple weeks ago and I was watching you dance and I was looking for the little tap or the little something just to even indicate that the song had started. I didn't see it at all. <laughs> Yeah, we're very secretive. Like right, very I secretive. think it's magic, right? Yeah. Just a bit of magic. <laughs> Niall, do you feel any vibrations at all? No, nothing actually. Um, you know, once we start dancing, I don't feel anything. Yeah. And, you know, and when you, you know, when we're behind backstage, you can kind of feel it, but when you get on set, nothing. Yeah. Now, what about, the, the crowd loves you so much, so when the dance is over and people are cheering and screaming, do you feel the energy? Do you feel, what do you feel in that oh, moment? Oh, definitely, definitely. Okay. I can feel the energy in the room, most definitely, and I feel, you know, at the end, I always feel it, and I could see it in people when I'm looking around the crowd. Yeah, it's palpable. How does this compare to America's Top Model? You won that, what was that like? Well, I think how this compares to America's Top, top Model, it's so different because with Top model, I mean, this one, we have a lot more pressure. It's a lot more physical work. Mm -hmm. We're dancing every day, okay. seven days a week. And on top model, you just stand there and look pretty. Yeah. And, you know, that it doesn't would take be as nice. much energy. That would be lovely. Uh, you do that do very that. well, by the way. Oh, now your shirt, oh! your, your shirt is off a See, lot. See, look at that. You notice that? Is that? Yeah, is, I know, I know. How do you sign hot? Hot, hot. Hot? Yes, hot. hot. <laughs> what is this? What has this meant for you? What has it changed the way you even view deaf people? Absolutely, it's it's changed everything for me. It has just been such an amazing stepping stone with creating amazing movement with somebody so special. And uh, you know, he's making me so much more aware of deaf culture. And I'm learning every single day. And I'm learning sign language, which is really helping us out. Um, and it's just such an amazing experience. When you were going to Gallia Dead, America's only deaf university, what were your plans at that point for your future? Yeah, when I went to Gallia Dead, I wanted to teach math, um, either in high school or in the college level, and maybe move up into administration. That was the original goal, and then you took, after and that, you then, know, then my you journey your, changed. Then you took your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> right, then I took my shirt off, and then the, my life changed, I guess. You're too beautiful it's over. for math. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> too beautiful for math. Yeah. That's the name That's of this true. book. That's true. Oh, all right. It's just so inspiring, You though. are now it in really a position is. where, where people want you to win, people expect you to win. Sometimes that's not the best position to be in. 
It's, it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure to be at the top and we've felt that we've come down the ranks. Um, I think in the third week we were like in the middle of the pack and mm -hmm. um, it's the hardest place to be and you know to knock out amazing routines every week and to stay at the top is extremely hard. Mm -hmm. Nobody really does that. You had another judge there. It's there was a judge that came in last night on the show. Oh, yes. Who am I talking about? I don't know. Come on. Some guy, he was a bit mean to people. What's his name? I don't know. I think uh, it's Max. 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 Yeah. And Max. Who's his girlfriend? Uh, well, apparently he has a fiance. So and who I don't is she? Know. I understand she's beautiful and talented. Am I looking at her ring right now? Uh, yes, you are. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so Thank how, you. how strange is that for you to have him there judging? Actually, it wasn't that strange. I just didn't view him as my fiance when I was on the yeah. floor. It uh -huh. was just like a regular judge, and I didn't even like feel that I was just waiting for his comments and you know now you didn't dance together last night but you both had a very very good night you had a yeah. 10 now which yeah. is right incredible. right right you know it's definitely an honor very honored first person to get the first nine and then now the first person to get the first 10 so it's not very often that the same person gets both so and you got great. to dance with Hail Mary Doug Flutie so that was I great did. Oh. I love Dougie he was he was I great. know he breaks your heart <laughs> pleasure too. to meet you thank you so thank much you so much. Nice thank you so much thank you thank you all right you can catch that by Dancing with the Stars Monday night on ABC wow that was my first time doing that with someone signing and it's funny how it, by you the way, start to Ramon, ignore. Ramon, you're going to get your own show. You're fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Ramon, Ramon, get his own show for Ramon. Okay. <laughs> Yay, Ramon. All right, coming up, uh, we'll take a break and we'll be back.